Hello friends, so today in this video we will be going through the second problem from the latest code forces round 712 problem name flip the bits. So I first read this problem and then I thought that it might be something difficult but the second thing which comes to my mind is okay try to draw some test cases and try to get some things out extract something out and that I also encourage you to always take some copy or like draw out some test cases on your drawing board and try to come up with the solution not the exact one but try to find out some different possibilities like okay if you have this input what will be your way of thinking to go through the solution can you find out some little bits of information or either a brute force way then can you extend that using the different constraints which are given to you can you solve that problem so we'll also go through this problem so let's start it states that you are given some string a and you have to convert it to a different string b but what you can do here is you can o you can only take a prefix from a in which the number of zeros and number of ones should be same so you are given some string and you can flip all the bits in a prefix in which the number of zeros and number of ones should be same you can only take that prefix out so if you take that prefix out you can flip out all the bits in that prefix and after doing that can you make the both a and b strings same so you are given that a and b strings this is the length of the string they should be same obviously so can you choose out different prefixes such that after choosing out those prefixes and flipping them you can make a and b same in any amount of uh, operations you can do now what what i can what i think over this problem is let's assume that i have this string this has a number of like the number of uh, ones and zeros are same okay let's assume i have this string also like this is the whole string so this part and uh, like this part has the number of like zeros and ones which are same you can also merge two parts which has zeros and ones same and then they can also form a string which has zeros and ones same i hope you get this point because like if you divide them out they will also form okay now what you can see in this problem is if i flip this part out if i just flip out this part it will become like this zero one one zero and this part remains the same and if i flip the last part out it will become like one zero zero one uh like one zero so it it means that every part every part has two options it can remain as the same position or it can flip out i hope you get the point so you have to flip the whole part out okay so now you can flip this whole as a prefix you can flip this as a whole as a prefix or can you flip only this part out because you have to choose a prefix now like i cannot choose this and flip it out because i have to choose a whole prefix but what i can see but what i can say is let's assume that i have this as a string one zero zero one zero one okay and because i have divided into different sections which has zeros and one same so i can take a counter move from left to right and whenever i found out that my zeros and one become same as you can see till now the zeros and one become same so i can make a part like this okay and then that this can form one bracket sequence or like like one section so now then i go from again from this point to this point zero and one they are same so it can again form zero and one same so it will form three sections now what you can see here is if i want to flip only this section out can i flip this only this, this section yes i can flip the whole section for starting from this to this and then flip this again part this only first part what i mean by this is if you have like this string zero one if i want to flip only this section which has zero and one same so only each section has zeros and ones same so if i want to flip only this section what i can do here is i can first flip the whole section because the whole section will all obviously have the total number zeros and ones same which i've told you if i have i will take two section which has zeros and ones same and zeros and ones same the, they will both combine to form a zeros and ones same so if you flip the whole section out it will become like this zero one one zero and because now i can again flip out the first section only so it can become like this one zero one zero so as you can see i have now flipped only the first section and not the second like only the second section not the first section so it means that individual sections can be rotated like flipped so it means that now you have a string and for every string you have two options i can either flip out or i should not flip out and because i i do not have to count possible number of strings i can form i have to boil down to a particular string so it means that they should match now 
So what I can do here is in the whole string, I can first divide this whole string into different sections in which each section should, ha should have zeros and ones same. Now what I can do here is for each section, I have two possibilities. So let's assume that I have a whole string. So if I have one whole string and like it is divided into this sections, like you can assume that. Okay. It means that each section has number of zeros and one same. Now if Let's assume that I have to form and make this as a B string. This is an A string. Let's assume that I just match the first character of the first section and the first character of the second section. Okay. If they are same, because see, I can flip this whole A section only. I can, I have the option of flipping the A section as a whole, not any character. So if the first character matches, then I have to also ensure that the whole section matches because I have to ensure that the whole section match because if the whole section doesn't match, it's it's a waste of time. It, like it's it, we cannot convert it out. But it has two cases. Either this section should match to this section or a flip. I can flip out this whole strings like whole character of this section out. And then that flip part must match to the this section. Like like there are two possible options to match to this section. Either the original part can match to the section or a flipped part can match to the section. And every section or each part has this option but let's assume that so i thought that okay you just have to divide the whole string into different section and just match it out but that's the whole that's not the whole story out. like a, a, a test case just emerged like just pop into my mind let's assume that i have some string and zeros and ones are same in this section and this section but now let's assume that this is zero one one zero zero one and then the rest string is one 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 now this is not forming a section because this is one 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 i cannot form this as a section i hope you get the point okay so it means that the section should be continuous and once it break there is no section ahead okay if there is no section ahead even if there is one string like zero and one at this point i cannot make it as a whole prefix because like because i should make a sub like i should make a prefix which has zeros and one same so it means that I can only flip out the sections like this. So I should first find out the sections. And now I have two options for each section. I can either make like in the B string, they should be same or it should be like this. Like it should be a flipped version of this. So what I can do is I can take the whole string out. Like I can take the original string and just iterate over it. If it is in a section, then I have two options. If they are same, then if they are same, then like remain as it is else if they are different change this section out just flip out this whole section so i am assuming that if they are different we just flip out for this if they are same just leave it and for the parts which are not in the section just print out as this, as it is as it is means that we should not change those part out now after that we have to check that whether a the final string which we have formed a and b are same or not because we have either two options i can either change a or not change a if i've changed a we have changed a because we have to match somehow b if this somehow get matched after doing this operation then it's fine else we have no option that the answer is no so i'll talk you through more with the code part now but i think so that you have got some idea so i'll take it on to the code part now so what the code look like is I can zoom it out. So this is A and B string. This is number of zeros and one. Then this is a vector of pairs which will store out different sections. And this is J, which this is like a two pointer technique because I have to maintain the sections now. So I have to one pointer at J and I iterate from left to right. And whenever my I and J becomes equal to same, which means ones and zero become same, then this will mark out to be a section. And now my J will shift out to this point. So it is like J is iterating. So when I move from I from left to right, whenever whenever I found out a I increment my one, or uh, like whenever my AI becomes equal to one, it means that I have found out one one. So increment of one or zero. And whenever one and zero become same, I will push out this section in X and then update my J such that my J will become to the next point. Now I have different sections. What I will do, I will iterate over these sections. So each section has two part the starting and the ending and this section will tell me that okay there is a section which has zeros and ones same so what i can do here is i can iterate over each section and just check out that whether the section starting of a like this like this start and end is the starting and the ending index of the section okay that's what i've pushed here the starting and the ending index of the section if 
the starting index of the section which I have told that this is a section which I can flip out in A if that starting index and the starting index of B corresponding B value the B series if they are same then we should not flip this section out which means that see I have two strings okay there are different sections in A I have each possibility that I have one possibility that I can change out this section or I should not change out this section so in what case I should change out this section I can only change out this section I am just assuming that the first character of if the first character of this string A is not equal to the same corresponding character of B if they are not because I have to make them same now so if they are not same I can flip out this section because that's the only way I can make them same so if I flip out this section then I am assuming that okay maybe they should become same we, but we have to check it in the end but because if they are same then just like leave it out but if they are not same then I have only one option to change that out so that's what I'm doing if they are not same so if they are same just continue out but if they are not same take the whole section out and just flip out the bits so if they are 0 become 1 and some like if it is 1 becomes 0 so it means that now I have formed a new string a new A string so what we, now my whole string is let's assume that I have a string A I, I have a string A which is like this 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 ok so this is one section this is one section ok and this is one section this is one section then what I will do here is in each section I have stored the section indexes that one section start from here and from here one section start from here and from here and so on that's what then what, what I will do here is iterate over each sections that what I have stored each sections and then for each section I have some B string also let's say, let's say my B string is like this my b string is like this so i will match the first character of this string the section string like the first character of the section index and the corresponding index of the b string if they are not same if they are different then obviously i have another choice that okay let's flip this whole section out if i flip this whole section out it will become like this one zero so what i will do i will take out this whole section in a the in the original string a and i will flip out in a itself so now the a string becomes like this which is like somewhat same to b which is like one zero one zero then i will go to the next section my next section is one zero so it is one one if they are same then leave it out i'm just assuming they are not same but like the whole section is not same but i just match the first part of the section out if they are same just leave it out because if i change if i flip this section out if i flip this section it means that like I am not, I'm the, I'm intentionally making different, but we are just checking the first character out. If they are same, then just leave it out. This section is zero zero same. This is not same. So just flip out the whole bits, like all the bits. So now it means that I have made a new string which is like this, one zero, and then uh, like uh, one zero zero one one one. This is the new string of A, and this is the B string. I have done all the operation which I can do to make the whole string same. So now in the end, we'll check that whether the string becomes same or not. As you can see, this is same, this is same, this is same, but this is not same. It means that even after the operations, this string is not same, the answer is not. So that's what we're doing. We're just iterating over A. If you have to flip out, we'll flip out the whole section. And then we have to, in the end, we'll check that whether after doing all this operation, they become same or not. If they become same, then the answer is yes. Else we found out that at any point they're not same, then the answer is no. So I hope you understand the logic and the code. The code will be in the description. If you have still in notes, you can mention it on the comment box. I'll see you next time. Keep coding and bye.